welcome to my kitchen. I don't know which is more exciting, how moist this vanilla cake is or these cool pants. And then there's the pineapple filling. And you'll be surprised at how this frosting's made. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees and let's go have some fun. We're gonna start by sifting all the dry ingredients together. That's three cups of cake flour. There's a difference between cake flour and regular all-purpose flour. Cake flour is more tender than all-purpose flour. So don't go cheap. One tablespoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix it around a little bit and sift that all together. What sifting does is it adds air to your dry ingredients. I know it's weird, but it does. And it gets out all the lumps. All right, and set this aside. Take half a cup of milk measured at counter level and then add in half a cup of oil. This is where all the moisture's coming from. And then add half a cup of sour cream. The sour cream is the activator for the baking soda that we added into the dry ingredients. And it's gonna make for an even more tender crumb. So we have moist and tender in our cake. <laughs> and set this aside too. Then take six egg whites and put them in your mixer bowl. And I always separate them outside the bowl. That way, if a yolk is going to burst, it's going to burst in here and not in here and ruin the whole batch. Oh, and make sure your mixer bowl is super clean. Otherwise, your egg whites won't whisk up into a nice meringue. Three more egg yolks you can make my deep dish custard tart, Chicago style. And whisk those till they're nice and foamy. That's what you want, see the mountain peak? And then while it's on high speed, add in three fourths of a cup of sugar, one tablespoon at a time. This will allow for the sugar granules to break down and fully mix in and beat that to stiff peaks. See the mountain peak? It's beautiful. Scoop your ooey gooey meringue into another bowl and take two sticks of butter and cream those together until they're nice and fluffy. And don't throw away your wrappers because I'm gonna show you how they come in handy in a minute. Add a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract and cream those together and you'll have to scrape down your bowl periodically because you can see the unmixed butter hiding in the bottom. Then alternate in your wet and your dry, starting with the dry and ending with the dry. So you put about a third in, beat that in, and add in the wet, about half. And the key here, is to only mix it until it comes together. All right, so then we just take one third of the meringue and fold that in. And I use a balloon whisk that helps fold in the meringue without deflating it. Now, remember the butter wrappers? This is where you use them. I'm gonna prepare these pans with butter and flour, these make for nice tools to smear it around. Do you call them smear, smearers? This is the way my mom used to do it too. And then dust a few tablespoons of flour around it. And I use cake strips. All it is is wet fabric that I've been soaking in cold water. It just goes around the outside and you get flat tops every time. This should work on the heart shapes. I'm pretty, com pretty confident. And then just pour it right on in. It is a thick batter, so I'm just gonna help spread it around the bottom of the pan evenly. It'll do some self-leveling in the oven. 
and then bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And while our cakes are cooling, let's get started on this pineapple filling. So fun. You're gonna take two cups of milk and warm that up in the microwave just until steaming. And then to your favorite saucepan, add half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And add in about a half a cup of milk just to get this started. Whisk it all together. Now in a double boiler, and make sure the water doesn't touch the bottom. Take your milk, put that all in here, and keep whisking, and just always keep the liquid moving. This is the gentle way to cook it. And then bring the temperature up to 160 degrees and let it stay there for three minutes. That's gonna cook out any cornstarch taste. 142, doesn't take long. And then what we wanna do is into a heat proof bowl with three eggs, we're going to beat in just a little bit of it. That's gonna bring up the temperature of the eggs without cooking them and making scrambled eggs. And then we're going to pour it back, whisk continually, and whisk this for about three to five minutes longer. It'll get nice and thick. Pass it through a fine mesh sieve, just in case we made some scrambled eggs. And this is gonna make for a silkier filling. And don't forget the bottom. Oh, look at all of that. Mm -hmm. And whisk in your pineapple, drained pineapple. I'm gonna put this back in the bigger bowl and then place some plastic on top just till it touches. That way, a skin won't form. And to help it come to room temperature faster, I like to use meltless ice cubes. This frosting is real easy, and it starts with half a cup of flour. I know. And one and a half cups of milk, and one and a half cups of sugar. This is called a roux. And whisk this over medium heat until it forms a paste. Kind of like the paste you used in kindergarten. Whoa, yeah, look how thick that is. That's what we ate in kindergarten. Pour it into a heat proof bowl and let this come to room temperature. Place some plastic over top so his skin doesn't form. And I'm gonna use my meltless ice cubes again. And while the paste is cooling down, let's whisk up some butter. And there, after five minutes, you can see how much it turned light in color and it's fluffy. That's fresh out of the refrigerator. All right, and when your paste is the same temperature as your butter, start adding it in one tablespoon at a time. And notice how thick it got as it cooled down. That's important, you don't want any runny frosting. Add a tablespoon, whisk it in, this is amazing. Whisk it in, and then in the very end, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And scrape down your bowl one last time, just to make sure it's fully mixed in and incorporated. 
All right, and now we put it all together. Look at that frosting. So the pineapple filling doesn't seep down into the cake and make it all mushy. I'm gonna put a thin layer of frosting first, and then I'm gonna pipe a dam around the edge. This will help keep it from coming out the sides. You don't want to put it on too thick or it'll, you'll get bulges on the outside. And then put the second layer on and then do the same thing for each layer. A thin layer of frosting, a dam around the edge, and we'll just put some fancy swirls in there. And then we're gonna put some colored sugar around the bottom. That's called a skirt. And then brush off the excess with the brush you found in the drawer. Sprinkle some on top too. Or right, I love you. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I hope you had fun today. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to boop that bell. That way you'll get notified when I make my next video. I'm good at the bow of this now. Man, this is so good. <laughs>